Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. On today's episode, we're going to do a little fishing and a little talking. So on a recent trip down to Alabama, I met up with a guy I met at the seafood shop in Orange Beach, Alabama. His name is Kevin, but they call him Buzzbait. So Buzzbait was nice enough to take me out on his boat, show me a couple local rivers, and the local lake where they fish for bass. The first day out, we tried Dog River, and we didn't get one bite. So we packed up after a couple of hours and moved down to Fowl River. We threw everything at him. We tried lipless crankbaits, crankbaits, worms, craws, creature baits. He may have even thrown a spinner bait at one time. The recent rain has just flooded everything out. The water in the causeway was so muddy that we had to settle for any clear spots we could find. And the fishing was rough. What seems like weeks of rain washed all of those rivers out and we fished all day and only caught one fish. I caught it on a rattle trap. Check it out. Snagged on something. What's down there? Rocks? Your lure? Realistic fishing, come on! This is pretty realistic. Do I have a fish? Do I have a fish? I might have a fish. You do. And you got a fish. Got a bass. How big is it? It's about a one and a half pounder. Very nice. I'm gonna just boat flip him real quick. Boat flip him. <laughs> Fresh water. He ate it. Sure did. Look at there. He, he ate it. I'm talking about. It's he in there. This the fly is right up by that net. You want to keep him? No. He's on. So, like I said, we fished all day and only caught one fish. So, like any normal fisherman would do, we got up the next day and tried again. But this time, at Big Creek Lake. Big Creek Lake is fresh water. It is located in Northwest Mobile. I'm pretty sure he said that's where they get their drinking water from, so it's a pretty clean lake. Once we got there, we stopped at the boat launch. We talked to a few of his buddies that just happened to be there. They said they were catching them on Carolina rig worms, deep diving crankbaits, jerk baits, anything that imitated a shad. So we thought, hey, the fishing's going to be easy, right? Nope. Same kind of deal as the river fishing the day before. For some reason, all that rain had just turned the bite off. We fished for hours without a bite. Until finally I said, let's go try the big rocks over by the dam. And it was there that Buzzbait caught this very, very nice bass. There we go. Holy cow. Oh, I'm snagged on a rock. 
I'm gonna lose that motherfucker. Up. Get him, Bob. Get him. Uh huh. Wow. Hey. Rocks, man. Hey. <laughs> Boom. Lift it up. Let's see this guy. Eat that, guys. Oh. Don't step on the rods. How about that? Now that's a nice one. How about that, though? That's three or four easy. Oh, yeah. That's a good four and a half. First pass of the day, and it's a go. good one. Nice one. Realistic fishing, baby. Get good, you some. Good fish. Good, good fish. Now. Oh, oh, oh. Snagged on a rock. I got it. As you can see, I was still throwing the lipless crankbait, and he was throwing a Carolina rigged speed worm. Basically, all a Carolina rig is is a weight going down to a swivel with a leader down to your lure. In this case, a speed worm. So that bass was easily three or four pounds. And right after I netted it and we got a picture, I turned around and my pole was starting to slide out of the boat because I was snagged on something. And luckily I caught it before it dragged itself out of the boat. And finally, the third fish that we caught, we were in a shallow bay with some sandy banks. You know, I was hoping the fish would be spawning. The water was 70 degrees, but they weren't spawning yet. He did manage to catch another small bass on a jerk bait right next to the boat. Short clip, check it out. Monster bass on the line. There he is. Half a pounder. Got him in three spots. Hooked him in the fin. Hooked him in the side. And hooked him in the mouth. Pretty little old fish. See you next time. Grow up. So after fishing for hours and hours, those two fish were the only two fish caught all day. I don't even think I got one bite. I fished, uh, I fished a Texas rig worm, a Texas rig creature bait, a Texas rig craw, a Carolina rig speed worm like he was using, and a rattle trap. I didn't get one bite. We tried fishing shallow. We tried fishing deep. The only spots that hit were the big rocks by the dam and the shallow bay where he caught about a half pounder on a jerk bait. Regardless of how many fish we caught, I still had a great time exploring the river systems around Mobile Bay and checking out Big Creek Lake. So I'd like to give a huge thank you and shout out to Buzzbait for taking me out in the boat. He didn't have to take time out of his busy schedule to drag me around to different rivers and lakes, but he did, because he's a nice guy. Like I said, I met him over at the seafood shop on vacation when I was doing some pier fishing over in Gulf Shores. I stopped in there for some tackle and a drink, and they had the best dip ever. Salmon dip, crab dip, cheese dip. They got all sorts of great stuff in there. Great gumbo. I can't recommend it enough. If you're in the area, you gotta stop in there. So again, thank you Buzzbait for taking me out on the boat. It was a frustrating trip, but it was definitely realistic. And I hope we can do it again sometime. I had a great time exploring Fowl River. I had a great time exploring Dog River and even Big Creek Lake. While the fishing wasn't amazing, the experience really was. So thanks again. So, if you're ever in Gulf Shores or Orange Beach, Alabama, stop into the seafood shop. They got shrimp, crab, gumbo, that kind of stuff, and tell them Realistic Fishing sent you. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.